Hello. Hi, can I speak to Christine, please? Yeah, this is her. Hey, Christine, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. How are you? I am good. <laughs> are you sure you have the right number? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have the right number. Did you recently go out with a guy named Nick? Yeah. Then this is the Christine that I want to talk to. <laughs> okay. What's going on? I'm calling you because Nick emailed us to see if we could get you on the phone and ask why you're not calling him back. Mm -hmm. What? It's a segment we do on our show called The Second Date Update. Nick said he liked you a lot. He enjoyed your date. He thought you guys clicked very well. But apparently he's been trying to get a hold of you and you're kind of avoiding him and he wanted to see if he did something wrong. So you want me to tell you about, like, my personal, like, what happened on a date? I don't necessarily need you to get into your personal stuff if you're uncomfortable with that, but I would like to know if there's a particular reason that you're not calling Nick back. I'm so confused about what's going on. I'm at work right now. Okay. <laughs> it was a good date. Sorry. So, That's all I have to say. So you had fun on the date? Yeah, it was great. Okay, then is there, are you planning on calling him back because he'd like to know? I mean, probably not. And why know. is that? I know you're at work, and I'll get you off the phone quickly here. I appreciate you staying on with us and being honest. But if he was such a great guy and you enjoyed the date, why don't you want to see him again? It was just kind of a weird thing that happened on our date, and I just don't I don't know if I want to talk about it. And it's, Maybe we just go our separate ways, and everything's happier and easier. Do you think talking about it could at least help Nick in the future? You don't, You might not want to see him again, but with other girls that he goes out with? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess maybe wouldn't take another girl to the apple orchard. So that was really oh. bad, like the whole experience at the apple orchard? I mean, uh, it was, I just had a weird, like, encounter with his grandfather. You had a weird encounter with his grandfather? Yes. How so? I mean, can we just tell him that? And then he's on her merry way. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if, is his grandpa just a weird dude? Do you think Nick would know that? So Nick had a take a call, mm -hmm. and I, maybe I'm reading it weird. I don't know. But then I was left alone with his grandfather, and he just said some kind of inappropriate things. It, I was just, I just felt uncomfortable. Is his he... grandpa's a pervert. Oh. Is, am I reading into that? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I don't care how old a guy is, but if he's like, come with me, and I'll show you my apple press, oh. it's just... Oh. <laughs> Press, yeah, do you so. know for sure that he was being an old perv, or was he legitimately talking about an apple press and he took it the wrong way? No, he said it and winked at me. Oh, <laughs> yeah.